right, thank you everybody for joining us. We are the Brake Brothers, and we have another interesting one for you here tonight. Uh, we have Perfect Game. This is kind of an interesting baseball product. Uh, Leaf, it's another Leaf product, and this is a 2020, and it contains 25 autos. I don't know how many other products you're gonna find that have 25 autos. Uh, includes memorabilia autos and metal. So these are pretty cool, but these guys are on the high school-ish level. You'll see, like, I believe, the almost like stars and stripes. Um, these are the best of the best, so they make it to the Perfect Game National Showcase. And then they put a set of cards around these top uh, prospects. So um, this is the 2020. Now, these guys, chances are we're not going to know too many of these, these guys at, at this point in time. Unless they're really an exceptional generational talent, you probably won't. The thing is, in maybe about three to four years, somewhere in there, these guys will start popping their heads up, and you'll see some of the top prospects will be in this set. So it's kind of a speculative set. You, you kind of it's uh, kind of the long con, if you'll say, if you if you will. Um, so anyway, just to give you kind of some examples, I did a quick kind of just scan from some of the other perfect games, and we have a ton of these cards, but. Uh, couple that I came up with right off the bat. This is a 2014 uh, perfect game. It's a 6 out of 10, red foil. Luke and Baker, he's with the uh, uh, Cardinals. Pretty good player for them. Uh, good prospect. I think he's got like 10 home runs and 53 RBIs, something like that, uh, so far this year. And here's a real funky piece of a hat. How about that? The PG. There's the part of the G there. Uh, that's probably exceptionally low numbered. Uh, yeah, right up there. That would be a solid two out of two if you could see it, if it was in focus. Uh, and that's Matthew Lugo. Again, this is a perfect game. And I'm going to fix that, hopefully, here. This autofocus issue. This may become an issue. I may have to make it a fixed focus here, as I've had to do in the past occasionally. Um, it's just got so much else to focus on around the card here. So I kind of have to like block it out and hope for the best here. Anyway. Uh, he's with the Red Sox. He's one, he's like a top 30 prospect with them. I think number 12 actually overall for the uh, for the Red Sox. But these are what you, kind of what you're going to expect in there, both auto and uh, memorabilia auto. 25 to a box, tough to beat that. So let's dive in. We got a few to open here, and uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. I want to thank you again for joining us. And Leaf comes through again. We're really big fans of Leaf here. That's why the box is so big. Got to fit 25 autos. 25. There's no other cards. It's just going to be 25 cards. It isn't like there's 200 cards and uh, 25 of them are autos. All right. So it looks like what we got is guessing four memorabilia on the bottom. They're trying to see if we can block these a bit. And not that we're not going to, not that we're going to know any of these people anyway, but. Just so you can kind of see, in the bottom, there's actually a bunch of thicker memorabilia autos. So let's just kind of get those covered. Let's get these opened up, and let's go through and see what we have here. And again, we're probably not going to know anybody at this point, um, unless they're really making some noise, or, you know, more than likely. This seems to be how Leafs packaging them these days, these clear boxes with these Leaf seals all right as you can see they're all that's the format all right so let's see how am i going to do this that's let's just take that out i guess let's just go from one to another First one. These are pretty thick stock. Look at that. First up is Blurry Aaron Calhoun. That's a one of one. Okay, so I'm going to have to go get something for that. More appropriate. Okay, that threw me right off the bat. Um. Imagine if this guy turns out to be something. There 
here we go. Aaron Calhoun, one of one purple. Not to find out whether he started or whether he just filled in later in the game. But nice card to start it out with. My goodness. All right, moving on. We have a. All right, I gotta adjust this focus one more time. Oh, I apologize. I didn't put it back on autofocus. That's on me. Um, yeah, Jack. Yeah, I don't know that one. Not gonna even try. We got a Will Kroger. I'll try that one. That's a 48 of 50. And this one was a 47 of 50. Next up is a Thomas DeLandry. One out of 10. Not bad. You see, they look like they're going to be all sticker autos, it appears. We've got a Ryan Spikes, 23 of 25, yellow. And again, some of these guys might pan out. Some of these guys will never, you'll never hear from again. Other ones, you'll be glad you got at least uh, one of their first cards. We've got a Cruz Newman. Next up, Edgardo Villegas, 48 of 50. Camera's playing playing nice right now. We got a Maze White. 21 of 25. Again, 25 autos per box. Where else are you gonna find that? Now again, some of these guys aren't gonna pan out. But surface area is not a bad thing. Elmer Rodriguez Cruz, 23 of 25. Isaac Rodriguez, 15 of 15. Good low numbers. Next up, Elijah Lambros, 23 of 25. I don't know that much about these guys. We'll see if uh, Jalen Fullwood doesn't really give you a whole lot to go on. And you can go to Perfect Game Cards there in Perfect Game, and they have their own website, and you can find out a lot more about each of these guys, all their ratings and so forth. 23 of 25, give you a little bit of background on them. For this uh, purpose, we're not going to do that here, but another kind of thicker card. It looks like 10 out of 10. Noah Smith. Next up, Josh Pine. 48 of 50. Chase Alsop. 47 of 50. Some of these kids look like pretty big kids here, so. Some of them may pan out. Because they're big doesn't mean they're going to pan out, but they look like ball players, I should say. Trayson Hughes. Not sure about Trayson. Ooh. Got a nice one coming up next. Christian Smith. I oh, like your auto there, Christian. 24 of 25. Next up, we have a Christian Little. That is a pretty... Nice refractor. Pink. Numbered four of six. Different font there. Six four two ten pitcher. Christian Little. Let's get that in there. Top loader here. Next up is a Bob Gordon, I'm going to guess. If it, ah, yep, Bob Gordon. It's a blue foil refractor. Three of nine. Six one, 174 shortstop. Pretty cool cards. 25 autos. We'll get into the thick of it in a second when we go into the memorabilia portion of the show. Doesn't look like there's a guaranteed number as far as how many of each memorabilia versus straight autos. Nor 
mentioning the refractors. There you go, Bob Gordon. Pretty nice. And looks like we've got one more refractor. Is a gold. Mason Albright. 6090. That's a one of one as well. So two one of ones in this box. Not too shabby. Second one of one, everybody. Don't call it a comeback. All right. On to the funnest portion of this, which is the memorabilia. We'll go with these in order. They are top loaded already, so we'll just start. Let's get the foam out of here. We'll just start pulling these out of here. The first one up is. James Wood. Probably not the actor. And it's blurry again. Let's see if we can coax it back in here. James Wood. 19 of 25. Green. Got the W in his last name. It appears. Right, see it lose its blurry. Let's go blurry here again, I imagine. Next one up is no Luke Lido. That is a one of three. Nice low number there. And these are I want to say on card as opposed to the sticker on the other ones. Luke Lido again. It's more than likely part of a number. One of three. Very nice. All right. So what do we got here? We have got, I think, two more. Next one up is Charlie Psalm. Got the S, it looks like, perhaps, in his last name. That is at 15 of 25. Charlie Psalm. And our final card. No. Yes, final card is... A gold, 11 of 12, Harry Ford. Looks like we got part of the R, part of the D. It's not too bad. I got 25 autos. Got a lot of names. Looks like that's their thing this time around. A couple greens. We got an orange. So we'll go through these here really quick. We got a 15 of 25. A 19 to 25. A one of three. How's that? How good is that? Luke Lido and a Harry Ford. That's an 11 of 12. And kind of the highlights of the autos. We did get a huge pile here, obviously, that balance of the 25. I'll have to go through there and see what's the uh, hottest of those. We've got a gold one of one. Mason Albright. That was not our only one of the one of one of the day. We also got a Rob Gordon. Three of nine. We got a pink, Christian Little. Big Kid, 6'4, 210. Four of six. And how we started this, Aaron Calhoun. One of one, purple foil, rainbow. That's the first card we pulled out. Pitcher, a little undersized, 5'11", 165. Put some meat on that guy's bones. Aaron Calhoun. All right. If you guys haven't seen it, I hope you, uh, we've shown you something you haven't uh, chased down yet. And that is a perfect game. This is 25 autos, including memorabilia autos and metal. I don't know. Oh, the medals are the, um, uh, there they go. These are considered the metal, I believe. So, anyway, thank you so much. We are the Brake Brothers.